Hey guys, and welcome back to uh, the Western Esports Conference. University of Arizona versus uh, University of California Santa Barbara in the finals match. Uh, this is game four. That is, uh, yeah, two games going over to UC Santa Barbara and one game going over to University of Arizona. I am Aaron Yoder, Yoder here with Flag. Uh, we're just gonna leap right into the uh, big band phase here. Game five series. Five game series. Five games. All right, yeah, back to back to picking bands. Um, we've got uh, we've got Morgana, Twitch, and uh, Rise getting banned out on the side of Santa Barbara. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as to be expected. Uh, yeah. Whoa. The Caitlyn actually being banned from University of uh, Arizona. I told you, so they're stopping Caitlyn from being first picked. Interesting. Um, so, so they don't want can't like so they don't want can't carry to, to pick Caitlyn and just completely stomple on them. I guess. It's my yeah. Own, I guess. It, it does make sense. I mean, Caitlyn being the top tier AD carry, you don't want that going into the wrong hands. So I mean. ADC to win, I would have loved to see him on that, but we'll see what they can pick out instead. Maybe something like a Tristana would be pretty good, but we'll have to see. The Azir also coming out for God the King. Um, Maybe Varus or... slips by. Possibly, if it makes it to the uh, third, or to, if it makes it here, if it gets picked here, then maybe. But, uh, Ooh, like Sejuani yeah. getting through instead. Huh. All right. I actually, I think that uh, that's a pretty, that's solid. Um, so I it's interesting to see what's going on here. So University of Arizona, Arizona being very cautious with their picks um, and trying to make something that works. So the anguished one still getting his Irelia, but uh, it looks like maybe... Um, I am I, I, I'm, I'm wondering where UC Santa Barbara's priorities are. All right, there's the Varus being banned out. Uh, that was the Shen banned out as well from uh, University of Arizona. It's just sharpening my feathers. Hmm. Zaya banned out as well. Mm -hmm. um, really, I think they're trying to take the top tier eighty carries off the table, um, and kind of make room to see what happens next. I'm surprised we didn't see a Tristana ban. Are you sure? Of the Zaya. Are you sure you're surprised you didn't see a Tristana ban? Interesting to see who it came from. Honestly, I mean, but. You know it would have been the next pick for uh, University of Arizona, so smart move um, from UC Santa Barbara. All right, who, who we got? Who we got? We need an ADC and we need a support. Um, Misfortune. Dodge. Alistar. <laughs> All right, cool. So I guess they are going to go ahead and give the... Uh, um, ADC priority over to UC Santa Barbara, which is smart. They don't want to get uh, counterpicks with that, so they're going to go ahead and just respond. That's not a bad... Uh, that's a pretty good uh, strategy there coming out of University of Arizona. I like how smart they're being about these picks. Um, yikes, that silver Malphi combo is going to be brutal. What? It's silver Thresh. Well, yeah, I know, but like you've got Sivir who can like in a team. Oh, I guess I guess I what you're saying. Just like Sivir, Sivir says go this way, and then Malphite's like this way. By Sivir, you mean Nutalia, because she's just gonna be like throw another rock, and then Malphite's gonna hold in. Oh, that's gonna be great. That was a long joke, but thanks for sticking by. Uh, Ezreal oh, actually God. being picked up. Interesting. ADC New End picking up Ezreal here. All right. I need to hear what you think about this because I am interested I love in Ezreal. the Ezreal pick. I love okay. Ezreal. Gotcha. Do you want to follow? I that think up Ezreal is great. <laughs> um, okay. 
and in this team comp, uh, I'm not too sure how much poke they're actually going to want to be doing. Anguish one got a hold of Aurelia again. Right, right. Um, I mean, they're going to have a lot of a, pre a lot of pressure with that. You know that the Anguish one is going to be a pretty heavy target for Sylvati, so they're going to have to stay active. God the King wouldn't mind if uh, God the King decided to sit in the top lane and just help out the Anguish one. Um, it seems like the bot side is going to be pretty self like self sustained. So, and that might have been part of the reason for the Ezreal pick, knowing that Ezreal does have a decent amount of lane sustain over Sivir. So, especially if you're going Kleptomancy Ezreal, which there's really no other reason to go anything else. Well, I mean, yeah, what what else is there besides Kleptomancy Ezreal? It's steal all the things. Right, exactly. I mean, like, you just, you take all of those potions that don't even exist anymore, and... Some you of them that never instead. existed in the first place. Right, exactly. Um, a tiny little elixir of iron just to, you know, give yourself an amazing edge over the competition. Um, no, but I mean, like, I guess I, I guess I understand the Ezreal from that point, that point of view, you know. Um, um, I guess I guess he's sort of one of the only carries that was not banned out that's sort of safe. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's that's the other thing is like he has he has shift, um, mm -hmm. so but like who else right. had an escape on the ADC pool that was open that's not I mean, like already picked it's severe. You had Lucian uh, that could have been picked up. So honestly, I I don't think I would have minded that. But again, like the Ezreal could make sense. Um, as for like who has the edge here, I I'm curious who who you uh. Who are you favoring in this uh, this matchup? Uh, I really, man, I'm gonna have to. I don't know. It's it's hard to it's hard to call, right? Like, anguish one difficult. really did work against Liquor Kool Aid last time, and that that sort of has a huge impact on the rest of the game. If one of your only, if you're kind of, this guy's supposed to be our tanky frontline can't be a tanky frontline because he's hamstringed. Right. That's um, why I'm kind of surprised they went ahead with the Malphite anyway. Mm-hmm. So so I don't I don't I don't know. Like Barley Trying's really strong on Thresh. We've seen that the the games that he's played it so far. Yeah. I mean the guy the guy knows how to carry his team from which is it, it's not often that you see especially a, a collegiate level uh player be able to play support roles that well and so the impact that he's going to have on on the team i think is, is something that shouldn't be discounted um we'll see uh we'll see if he can land any flays to cancel alistar in motion right or, or even azir uh -huh. like, i guess i guess it's everyone on there like the hell with it everyone on everybody <laughs> yeah they literally just, all just, have just none of them are allowed to go anywhere they just right. they just all need to get their their fingertips played <laughs> no no that's exactly what we're gonna hear every single time yeah um the thing is you can only use that once you know unless they all decide to dash yeah like once time. every eight seconds sure or something i don't know but i really have like like three dashes built in so, I mean, it's going to be, I think it's going to be difficult. Um, but overall, honestly, I'm going to give my edge over to U of A, strictly mm -hmm. looking at uh, team comp strength, right? And how it's responded to the opposite side. Um, because you got Malphite the pump that pops in. If Alistair didn't get caught up in that, I'm just going to boot him out. Um, if somebody gets too close to uh, Ezreal, gets too close to ADC Nguyen, you're gonna have uh, Alistair right there to back him up. So I, I like, I really like the uh, comp that's coming out of uh, coming out of Arizona. Uh, looks like uh, five members yet again charging to the opposite side of uh, the Rift. Um, gonna get spotted out real quick though. Uh huh. I mean, like five point defense coming out real quick uh, from uh, University of Arizona. They know what's going on. They know that going to be some sort of invade um wards being dropped from you know uc santa barbara 
Uh, looks like neither of these teams really want to mess around with this right now. <clears throat> One thing I will mention, though, uh, the comp that is picked up right now from UC Santa Barbara slower than we've seen in the past two games. Hmm. That's a really but... interesting, like, uh, comp shift. Mm -hmm. Also, like, a uh, conventional start for both junglers this time. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I don't remember which team did, but one of the other ones started with their top lane at the time before. Right. Um, yeah, they're gonna go ahead and start like that. Uh, which, I mean, makes sense, especially... Especially because both of these junglers are gonna rely so much on being able to gank for their team. Um, uh, clear already finished uh, a little bit ahead of time for uh, God the King, so that may impact a little bit on uh, what will happen later. Um, what will happen in the next uh, uh, five minutes or so. So we'll have to see how that pans out. Uh, looks like Anguish won't get bullied a little bit. Um, and mid lane also panning out pretty much how we expected. Um, if we take a second to look at... Um, take a second to look at Keystones. Um, so we do have the Conqueror Keystone on the Anguished one. It helps him out a lot in these early trades. Granted, I mean, you know, having a bit of a rough time with the early game now fight. Uh, you do have uh, a Doran's Ranked Darts. For, uh, mm -hmm. He really is. Um, He's just so good at landing, thus. <laughs> I know it's it's so They're impressive so pretty to, to watch. Them. It's just yeah, it's, <laughs> it's smooth. It's like real crisp. Uh huh. Um. Oh, uh, but yeah, no, I, like it's it's interesting to see. Uh, actually, oh, all right. So ADC Nguyen does get a hook. It's the uh, other half of playing Ezreal into a, a lane with a hook. Uh-huh. You, can, you <laughs> can break Blitzcrank's tether, too. Uh-huh. Um, which is kind of nice. Um, but, no, I mean, that was, uh, it was pretty well played. I think that's pretty much what we're going to be seeing on this bot side, is uh, Bartley trying, trying to go for a hook onto ADC New and not quite being able to find it. Um, simply because he's able to jump out. Ooh, uh, God the King helping out his top laner here. The Flash is going to end up making it out of uh, Liquor Kool-Aid. It's going to give a bit of an advantage over to the uh, top laner from Arizona. So. The spell Shield denying uh, an easy Ezreal Q. That's another thing. Oh, uh, it looks like in the mid lane, though, uh, a gank happening. Um... They're jumping on to Meteors, but Dog Impersonator and uh, Dog Impersonator and Cervati are going to go ahead and back off of that. Not trying to force too much. Uh, no, not even a flash coming out of Meteors, though, so good job holding on to that. Cervati getting real low in the jungle. Uh, God, the king's got to be careful. Mm -hmm. I think she's going to recall here in a second, is how it's going to pan out. <laughs> Probably should. Uh, might actually... They've been keeping fairly good track of... Uh, oh! Oh, on the bot side, though. Uh, ADC Nguyen looks like he's going to be pulled back. The Flash uh, does come through from the support. So Scatman uh, busting that Flash for himself. Will get himself out of danger. Uh, oh, meanwhile, on the top side, though, looks like uh, oh, Anguish One is going to go in and pick up that first kill. Blood. No, it's happening again. That's going to be so rough uh, to deal with later. Yikes. I, see, this is what you were talking about earlier. I mean, like, the Anguish One being able to do so much damage with uh, with, with this Cyrelia. Yeah, yeah, like. Conqueror Keystone is huge. It's, I mean, it's, well, you know, it's uh, true damage and bonus, isn't it bonus damage to shields as well? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, like, and that's Malphite just Malphite in a nutshell. Like, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, haven't, like, I haven't heard a better description for Malphite <laughs> than these things conquer bodies people against. Right, exactly. I mean, like, <laughs> hey, if you're going to take down a mountain, just take a pickaxe, you'll be fine. You know, and that's exactly what this Conqueror Keystone is for uh, Irelia. Are you, sure it's Again. A, are you sure it's like a pickaxe? I would Honestly, find it more like, like a debt charge or something. <laughs> like at this point, have you seen these blade surges hit this poor liquor Kool-Aid bottle? 
Yeah, I know, it's just cracking him all over the place. Um, alright, oh, he missed that stun. Um, mm -hmm. but, yeah, I mean, like, okay, so, looking, looking at the, the, um, items that are being built already, right, uh, and looking what we can expect out of it. You do have, uh, already, oh, no, so Vadi oh. trying to come up again, he's very low, so he's not gonna risk anything else. Kind of um, a misplay by Bardley trying, though. Uh, yeah, he didn't hit the. Oh, he didn't hit. He didn't hit some key skills, and they ended up kind of providing a failed gank. So, um, not great. But... Oh, oh liquor cool Kool Aid is in trouble Kool -Aid again. Is... Didn't even get out of the cage. No, he couldn't even walk. Um, I mean, like, at this point, liquor Kool Aid needs a lot of help, and it seems like Sovati's not going to be able to actually get that. Um, like. Oh, man. They're throwing away that top side. And I think that might have been the plan from the beginning, uh, honestly. Um, throw away the top side and uh, just try to work for something elsewhere. I really hope that they can get Liquor Kool-Aid out of the top lane. Uh, he did use his, his uh, teleport earlier to get back to lane, so he's not going to be able to uh, try to come down and aid in any of these ganks. Um, but... Uh, after a while, after he does get that teleport back, it's going to be interesting to see if they decide to try to, like, move him out of lane and away from the Angus one. Because uh, if they don't, I think he's just going to keep it. Alright, and a lot of blue pings coming out of... Uh, you see Santa Barbara, it looks like uh, Silvati's looping around for a bit of a gank. Uh, Dog Impersonator will be ulted back underneath uh, the turret. Shurima shuffle backwards, bring him pretty low. Not quite low enough though, Silvati coming out of the jungle will jump on him. Meteor's, Meteor's dropping pretty low. Looks like he's gonna get away though, running out away maybe from no, uh, danger. Not. Oh, yeah, Dog Impersonator so. is on it. Is Chase he on it? Zier. Meteor is still alive though, so nothing going on there. So Vadi, however. So God the King actually uh, gonna go ahead and pop that glacial prison uh, just to try to get rid of Sovati. Sovati forced to flash away, but it won't quite be enough. There is the end for the goo boy in the jungle. Uh, God the King gonna go ahead and pick up that kill for his team. Mini, uh... Our dog impersonator did sneak out though. Yeah, um, um, got away before before he was sniffed out by Anguish one. <laughs> yeah, the Anguish one was really angling for that. Um, a risky play from dog impersonator, but honestly, that's exactly that's exactly what I'd expect from something uh, from this team, uh, from California. Honestly, like if they can pull off more plays like that, I think that they'll be able to get Dog Impersonator snowballing like they did the last time they played uh, TF. But, uh, no, it's it's just nice to see them playing those champions to those, uh, uh, those strengths. So, um, Meteors got out, honestly, by the skin of his teeth. All right, it looks like, oh, a roam down from the top, oh, like no, English one getting the lane here. He's going to be in trouble here. There's the stun landing onto him. Uh, the ultimate coming out of the anguished one will end up bringing him down in the end. That is two uh, assists and a kill going over to the side of U of A. Um, yikes. All right. At this point, anguished one is getting huge, and it's getting scary out there. I'm telling you, man. That's not a... It's not a that's not a road you want to go down. This is, this is that... This is that 12-minute infinity... Trinity, uh, I can't rhyme anything else anymore. I was gonna try after I was gonna say. Oh, the in Trinity Edge is, I think, what you were trying to say. But in uh, Trinity Edge. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, no, I, it's terrifying. Like uh, the amount of da like just just how scary the anguish one can be. I like that they're actually using him this time to uh, start roaming in the end. Uh, cause pressure in other lanes. That's refreshing. Oh, Bartley trying though. Ooh, He's gonna good hit the with, uh, the late prison. Uh, looks like can't carry. Trying to do as much damage as possible can. We'll end up taking down ABC and win. But Bartley trying in the backside will end up falling underneath the uh, might of 
Meteors, who will stream a shuffle two members of U of A backwards. Looks like Liquor Kool-Aid now in some trouble. The Anguished one uh, doing a lot of work. God the King uh, picking up that kill onto the top laner from California. Uh, oh, a beautiful stun landing onto Dog the Dog Impersonator. The Anguished one taking a bit of damage there. So Vadi trying to fight back as best he can. Uh, but Dog Impersonator not going to be able to clean up anything else. Uh, a really well fought skirmish there from uh, U of A. Successful team fight. Uh, and looks like Santa Barbara, while Arizona is going back, seem to be focusing around the dragon. Um, trying to get that that Nike Drake really quick. <laughs> the shoe dragon. The Air Jordans. Yeah. Uh, maybe that's his name? I don't know. I don't know if uh, anybody ever named it. But... Jordan the Air Drake? <laughs> yeah, Jordan the Air Drake. We did now. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we didn't have a name, it do now. Or Jordan didn't stand a chance. All right, uh, Dog Person does have the ultimate available. They may be trying to look for something here, but Red Pink's coming out, warning Meteors of the incoming danger. Uh, he'll get himself out of that, uh, no problem. Ooh, damage going down. Oh yeah. Uh, looks like uh, Scatman will be in some trouble here, but they'll end up turning it back on to Bartley trying. Looks like Meteor's coming from the mid lane. They're aiming for Selvati, but it looks like they'll pick Ooh. up Bartley trying too. Uh, looks like God the King picking up a kill for himself as well. That is two dead members from uh, California. They're having a rough game this game. All right, and also if we look at the top lane too, completed items. Uh, now we look at uh, Banner of Command is actually completed on Liquor Kool-Aid, and he's using that to his advantage, trying to shove. Just, the lane just in. shoving the lane, yeah. I mean, if you can't, if you can't beat your laner right, just shove the lane in, and make sure they can't leave. I mean, that's yeah. a, it's a really good strategy, and it seems to be working out pretty well. Um, uh, except for now, looks like ah, uh, a, a missed opportunity there <laughs> for uh, Angry Kool-Aid. <laughs> Hey, um. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> All right, here I we go. Bottom lane, flicking around. <laughs> Honestly, I think, uh, yeah, Flicker Kool Aid might uh, be taking a swig himself to calm himself down from uh, that calm the nerves. He's got. <laughs> oh, shit, he flashes everywhere. I saw his eyes. <laughs> I like should have me in the bush. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, looking at the bot side, it looks like a gank might start being formed here. Uh, Bardley trying, he's looking for a little bit of hands-on experience, uh, trying to get a hold of ADC Nguyen. Um, all right, lots of pings going out of the river. Seems like plans are being foiled. Uh, Meteors spotted out the gank and knew what was going on, so we went ahead and warmed the bot side, so that's really good. Yikes, really good thing, but on the top side, seriously, the Anguish one going in, oh, absolutely uh, destroying the top laner. Dog Impersonator will end up flashing away. Goes golden underneath the tower, won't be able to get out though. Uh, Meteor's picking up the kill there. Looks like Silvati will come in onto two members in the mid lane of uh, University of Arizona. God, the King dropping really low, but Silvati will end up having the last lap there. Goes in and uh, you know, just gums up the works takes out the jungler from uh, Arizona, flashes away to safety, so uh, that is down, but honestly well played there from Sobati. It's just, uh, I don't know, where are we at for completed items? She got her, is she there yet? Yep, she's got it, she's had her oh, yeah. of course. Absolutely, so. the tipping point. That's going to be a pain to deal with. Uh, Savati's on the top side, so he could respond with a gank, but I uh, don't think he's going to be able to sniff out exactly where the English one went in time. Also, um, one quick point that we should probably mention. Uh, the bot side, uh, they're actually doing a pretty good job of trying to keep pressure on that bot side to make sure that... Uh, ADC in the wind isn't really able to get out uh, just yet. So once he starts roaming, it's probably going to get a lot hairier for use ESB. But for now, it seems to be fine. Um, 
Oh, Scatman and the God King, or God the King, uh, guarding that bush, looking for a little bit of action. But, uh, alright, so, say we, as, as we've done uh, in previous games, uh, we should probably take a look at the way these teams are playing their comps and uh, <laughs> reassess what exactly is going on. Um, now, before I had given the edge to uh, UCA, or, uh, U of A, right? Um, Honestly, for, for, you know, obvious reasons, their team comp seems to be a little more suited to what they're good at. Uh, or, or a little more suited to uh, getting a, a particular job done. That being said, are they going to be able to keep up the tempo? Do you think they'll be fine? Oh, no time. Uh, Scatman gets pulled in the bot lane. It's going pretty low. Ends up popping the... Uh, Ultimate there looks like we've got a teleport in. The Anguish one will immediately ult oh. himself onto the jungler uh, from California. Can't carry now, chase after the remaining members. The ultimate coming in from Liquor Kool Aid. Ooh, the win. Flash Having to flash away, but yeah, he didn't even have time to uh, really get too far. The flash ultimate from Liquor Kool Aid will spell the end for the top laner and ADC from Arizona. Yikes. You uh, you also had Liquor Kool Aid using one of Silvati's blobs as a target to teleport to. Um, in that fight. Honestly, a really good way to use the, the um, that last fight. That's what I expect from UCSB. Um, it was really well done. Uh, and I think that if they continue that sort of uh that sort of uh, level of execution, they should have no problem uh, with the rest of this game. We are looking at a little bit of a gold lead. Or, well, I don't know, I guess you can consider that more than a little bit. That's a fairly substantial gold lead at 18 <laughs> A lot of bit. That's an item. <laughs> uh, that, that's an item for somebody. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just I'm just having flashbacks to how I'm normally far as far behind the enemy team when I play League of Legends because I'm bad. Sad uh, trauma. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Wah, wah, wah. Um, it's okay. I feel your pain. Um, yeah, no, I mean, like that's a four thousand gold lead that's been established for U of A. They've been able to do a decent amount with it. I mean, they've taken the top line turret, not a single turret taken yet for uh, the side of uh, UCSD. They did do really well in that last fight. We should definitely, you know, commend them for that. But now they're going to have to continue uh, and see if they can they can keep that positive momentum going. Um, so, I mean, if we look at completed items on the bot lane, even where. Uh, UCSB is dedicating a lot of themselves. We do have an Essence Reaver and uh, Ninja Tabby completed for a Can't Carry. So, ooh, Liquor Kool-Aid uh, getting caught out a little bit there. Anguish one, yeah, using himself as essentially a human ward a little bit to try to cause some pressure and uh, clear out the vision. Uh, Meteor is going to go ahead and flop down that passive right in the middle of the lane. Um, but yeah, I know. Uh, like I was saying, uh, actually, I did lose my train of thought. What are your thoughts on the game so far? Um, I I mean, I want to see. Like you heard me in the beginning chanting, and I want I want a game five. Oh, oh game boy, five easy win. Nguyen. Uh, Nguyen getting pulled in, gonna get pulled together, hardly trying, getting the kill, finishing it off. Oh boy, um, Scatman is now in trouble. He's running back towards the turret, yeah, trying to get out. Yeah, he's time. No, can't carry, doing too much damage. But meanwhile, three members of uh, Arizona are going and in. And which one is going to finish off? Yeah, dog impersonator. Yeah. I mean, and now this will be uh, one tower, possibly two going down uh, for the uh, Arizona team. We got three members tearing through the base right now of. Uh, yeah, UCSB Silvati is going to engage on the Anguish one. Anguish Ooh, one being pulled backwards okay. will be shut down by Can't Carry. Uh, now they're going to continue this chase a little bit oh. further into the jungle. Yeah, God the King trying to stick around a little bit too long will dash out and be fine. Uh, the flash forward from Silvati, though, uh, will, will get a uh, similar response. God the King flat busting his flash to get out of there, make sure that nothing else happens. But, uh, 
Ah, okay, so you just when you think that UCSB is gaining a foot, uh, U of A takes a mile. I mean, like, a really well-executed gank on the bot side resulted in two towers being taken on the top side uh, and a kill for U of A. So right now it feels like, honestly, it feels like there's not a whole lot that UCSB is able to do at this point in time. Oh, yeah. Shrink, oh. Looks like two members. Looks like Meteors might be in a little bit of trouble, though. Uh, bit off a little more than he could chew. Dog Impersonator now targeting Scatman. He'll end up following the Liquor Kool-Aid. It is four members uh, just wailing on two other members of uh, U of A. Looks like five uh, five man push mid will try to take down oh. the turret, but the Anguish one will engage into the fight. Dog Impersonator is the target, but the Anguish one gets pulled back along with God the King. Now, ADC Nguyen will end up picking up two kills. That is double kill for ADC Nguyen and the Anguished one. Uh, yikes. See, just when you think that UCSB has a chance, has something good, the Anguished one is right there to make sure nothing else happens. <laughs> and you just, you can't let, like, all I'm seeing, all I'm seeing is Anguished one can't play Aurelia. Like not not she can't like not no, English one can't, can't play the which one play. right <laughs> yeah no yeah exactly exactly that champion must be banned out like this is this is just two huge two huge games in a row yeah exactly um, and I mean like it's it is like it is a few things for one Irelia is really strong right now just as a champion by themselves very strong has a lot of tools in their kit has a lot of damage built in um scales well naturally so like there's a lot that they can do that that champion can do but on top of that the anguished one is just really good so i'm surprised that ucsb let this go through because they could have banned this out in the first round of uh pick ban phase but they decided to let it go through and now it seems like they're paying the price for that. Well, it's... Oh. Never mind, there's nothing happening there. Oh, are you sure? <laughs> Not entirely. All right, the flash out of Scatman uh, will come out. Uh, Barley trying, trying to poke that one out. Uh, do, uh, do make sure you are fast forwarded all the way. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm all good. Sorry, we're caught up. Um, I was recapping what happened. Uh, yeah, no, so, um, no, seriously. Uh, okay, so, can't carry, uh, they're gonna go ahead and do all that stuff. Anyway, uh, but no, what we were saying is that, um, like, I'm, I do think that UCSB has a chance to get back at this game, but what that's gonna entail is the same, uh, kind of attendance oh. that they oh. paid to English in last game. You mean like ganking him five times in a row? Three, exactly. Three in at a time? But the thing oh, is no. they just don't have the tools for that right now. Like they don't have the Nocturne that can come out of nowhere. Um, they don't have a good split pusher uh, that they can use. You know, it's it, so it feels like they're, they've kind of bound themselves up here a little bit. And that is an air drake going over to... Uh, University of Arizona, so that's gonna mean a lot, honestly. So you got a Nike and a Reebok uh, sponsorship in this game. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We are also looking for uh, uh, Soby Life Water. If you guys wanna just hop in there too. <laughs> Soby Life Water. Oh no. <laughs> uh, okay, so the English uh, one. English oh, one is gonna get hard to try. Uh, he's gonna enough? start going in though, he does not care. Uh, dives back onto his minions. Meanwhile, on the top side though, Dog Impersonator bought a bit off a little bit more than, than he could chew. Uh, gonna end up going down to three members of uh, U of A. Uh, meanwhile though, ADC Nguyen is in the mid lane pushing forward, but Silvati and uh, Can't Carry are gonna try to shut that down fast. An anguished one getting oh. into a skirmish in the, in the jungle though. Uh, gonna go ahead and throw down the ultimate. Uh, trying to get everybody down, but Liquor Kool-Aid will not fall, so Body picks up the kill on the English one. Uh, but, in the meantime, so many resources were spent in the jungle that Baron is going over to U of A. Yeah, the, uh, Santa Barbara completed their objective in killing the raid boss that's on, uh, 
University of Arizona's team, and the University of Arizona took Baron. Something important to mention, they did go ahead and give up mean, uh, mid lane priority, so I mean, UCSB is going to go ahead and take uh, that mid lane turret. It opens up the map a bit more, which I'm sure feels pretty nice for uh, UCSB. They have a little bit more. But, um, yeah, yeah. I mean, UCSB has to do dedicate so much just to be able to take out uh, English one that it almost makes it almost makes doing it not worth. <clears throat> but you, but in that same hand, you can't ignore English one either. Exactly. This because... is the dilemma that you run into with the uh, with with a split pusher, right? When you're facing a split pusher, you can't ignore that person, but you also can't. Fight them without giving up too much, especially in in, uh, in a competitive tournament like this, where teams are so well organized. The only answer that uh, they can really have is just to um, try to win a five v four and then shove their way before uh, shove their way through before the anguish. Oh, the stun landing uh, on the hardly trying is going to be in a little bit of trouble here, but now, yep. Three members are trying to take out the English one, but it looks oh my like the goodness. ultimate away from Liquor Kool-Aid will not save him. Uh, the English one going to go ahead and pick up that kill for himself. Looks like uh, Scatman and Meteors are going to be charging down, trying to take out this inhibitor turret. The Shurima shuffle backwards uh, will keep him safe for now. Uh, yeah, Emperor is defied uh, getting him out of that one. Meanwhile, on the bot side, uh, turrets being taken left and right. Looks like this will be an inhibitor turret. Oh, the hook well. landing on the noise, oh, but boy. nothing coming from it. Nope, uh, Selvati now uh, trying to fend off two members, two big BP tanks uh, from University of Arizona. But right at this point, uh, University of California does not look like they are in any shape to be fending off anyone. Yeah, see, like, the thing is, Bartley trying can get a hook onto ADC Nguyen pretty much no problem. He's actually shown that he's, he's been pretty efficient at, at being able to uh, even predict where ADC Nguyen is going. The problem is, they don't have anybody that can actually jump onto him. Unless Can't Carry can ult the rest of his team on top of him, there's not really a way they can jump on the AC win, pop him, and then just on the rest of him. Yeah. Like, so, but what, what's the thing they do to, to make them win? Like, right? What What's the answer? Yeah. The answer is trying to stall the game as long as possible until you can reach uh, an equal footing as the English one. Oh. Oh. No oh. oh, oh, time, bro. It looks like immediate damage wound up popping meteors. Uh, ADC Nguyen looks like he could be in trouble on the bot side. He is uh, right. Exactly. Uh, English yeah. one. Uh, doing his fair share of work though will pick up a kill on the Bardley trying Scatman uh, will end up popping the passive on Silvati. ADC Nguyen trying to pick up that. Silvati will end up getting out with eight of the passive. But now three members of University of Arizona dropping very low. Uh, Scatman looking really not healthy right now. The anguished one is continuing to chase a little bit. We'll back off. Um, danger pings coming out left and right. Uh, for Arizona, not the fight they were looking to take. Really good use of uh, teleport again. Mm -hmm. To to keep to keep Silvati alive, just a little bit longer. And honestly, it's those little things I think that are uh, turning some of these fights for uh, University of California, uh, Santa Barbara, really like. Those small things were what kept them in so long in the last game. This game, I do think they have a little bit more of a chance because they've kind of caught uh, onto the English one a little bit earlier. But uh, the thing is, they're still they're still not quite at that tipping point. They still can't quite take out the English one before he just jumps to the team. 
Well, not um, to mention if they if they do jump on him and they don't finish him off now, there are two ocean drakes just sitting in his sitting in his back pocket to uh to to give him compliments and health regen. Right. And and that's gonna be a huge problem. But um the, what I had been talking about right before that when uh, you asked me what their uh, what their way into this game was fights like that are it um, alright so Vadi trying to make his way in here not going to end up finding anything on uh, the anguished one but now it's even more dangerous because the anguished one is sitting on his uh, uh, guardian angel mm. so oh so Vadi looking for a little bit of action find the cue to get the sticky arms out there uh, looks like they've got to pay attention to the bot side though because the English one is looking to make his way into the base uh, as he pass is gonna go ahead and be dropped that tower protecting his uh, team a little bit if you see Santa Barbara can pull off this fight and actually win I think there that that will be proof that they can actually take this game it's a tall order, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have all five members present. You've got super minions pouring into your base. They might not be able to afford to pull this off. And so Body bravely jumps into the middle of the fight. Looks like Silver Ultimate and the Liquor Kool Aid Ult uh, will end up uh, fending off most of the attack. The tower stands for now. Uh, but it looks like U of A gonna go ahead and choose to back off a little bit and reset. Let that uh, the health regen from that those two ocean drakes give them some health back. I just feel with the comp that they have right now, I I, I feel like Dog Impersonator would have been better off on Oriana. Yep, I completely agree. Um, all right, looks like Silvati put for a little bit of something here. Uh, we'll jump back three members of the team to shuffle backwards though. Uh, from Meteors, we find two members. That is a triple kill now coming out for the Anguished One. Liquor Kool-Aid is in trouble. That is a... Uh, quadra... Oh, no. oh Scat Scat Man. Scatman! Scatman! <laughs> with the steel. I uh, mean, yeah, secure. Be... Sometimes supports need to get kills too, guys. Right. Hey, those it's items are expensive. Uh, Alright, but yeah, I mean, that is... should march this down. Good games coming out. Yeah, um, I mean, like, this is GG here. There's no way these uh, towers are going to stand. Hey, uh, Doctor is doing his best, but... Hey, hey yo, yeah, droid. Mm -hmm. We have our Game 5 WEC Final. Alright, heading to Game 5 of the uh, Western Esports Conference. Looks like University of Arizona will pick up that victory for themselves uh it is now tied 2-2 university of california south the uh, sorry santa barbara 